I think I just hit the jackpot of uh, crappiest hotels ever. <laughs> um, it's pretty bad. Ah, uh, you make a hole like that. Okay, with a screwdriver. <laughs> ah. Back foot massage, so a 30 minutes massage. Back and foot for yes. $30, uh, $10. $10. And how much lira is that? Eight. All right, guys, I'm in Antalya and uh, I thought it might be a bit colder here, but I was totally wrong about that. It's super hot here. It's five in the afternoon, um, but I'm excited. I'm excited to dip my toes in the ocean. Finally, after spending almost three weeks in Istanbul, uh, in the city, I mean, Istanbul is beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it's time for something else now. Uh, bus 600. Bus 600? 600 is the uh, number. Şey, uh, near, the dis sorry, near the this bus coming soon over there. Ah, uh, is it here? Here? here? here? Oh, um, yes. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, so it should be somewhere right in front of me, I guess. Bus 600. That's what I need. <laughs> Plus 600. Oh yeah, this is for 600. That's what I need. 600. But after that I need two more buses, so it's not finished yet. It's a whole journey if you want to save some money. But uh, in Istanbul I also took a bus instead of a taxi and I saved uh, seven times as much money. I paid five euro in total to get to the airport from the Airbnb, about five euro. And uh, when I came, I paid 35 euros, so it's definitely worth it. And apparently, similar to the Istanbul card, you can get the Antalya card. All these machines seem to work only with cash money. That's, that's a bit annoying. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Where is the cash money? Only coins? Oh no, here. Can I? Chill. Cheers. Card, 15 lira, and insert money. Oh, it works immediately. Card, okay. I guess it's working. Seems to be working. And I will have. I have no idea what the machine is saying, but I guess okay. And now what? So I paid 100 lira, I paid 15 for the card and then 85 I guess. Uh, so I topped it up with 85 lira I guess already. I think that should be enough to get me to my hotel. And I hope this works not only in Antalya but in the region around Antalya as well. Well I guess we will find out soon. <laughs> so it seems that the bus 600 has arrived. Let's see if my Antalya card works. Is it this? Yeah. Okay. I met a lovely woman from Belgium actually, so uh, I can speak some Dutch. <laughs> Sorry? That's not ticket. No, that is for today is gratis. Ah, gratis? Ah, the feast Ah, okay, okay, okay. Ah, okay, okay. So it's a national holiday today. Victory day in Turkey actually, so the buses are free apparently. So maybe I bought this card for nothing. Uh. Okay, merci. Last <laughs> to do. Hi guys, I made it to Beldibi. Uh, two buses in Istanbul, one plane, and then three buses here in Antalya. Uh, it took me about nine hours to get here. If you want to travel a bit cheaper, you definitely need to be suffering a bit. But uh, it looks very beautiful here. I saw already some views along the way. It looks very promising. So uh, about two minutes walking to my hotel, and uh, I took one of the cheapest hotels that I could find. I hope I don't regret this decision, so we'll find out soon.
the entrance is a bit hidden. I hope I'm right and this is actually the entrance. Yeah, I think this must be it. There's some lemon trees. Wow, that's cool. I guess lemon trees. Uh, we have a bar here and the reception. The reception must be there, I guess. Or maybe not. These are rooms already, so I need to find a reception. Uh, hello? Hello? Nobody here? Hello? I hear somebody replying. <laughs> Ah, hello, hello, good evening. Merhaba. Merhaba. Merhaba. Ah. Hayır, hayır. Bak, bak, kokla bak. Kokla, kokla bak, bak, bak. Abi, <gülüyor> abi, tamam? Tamam, otur. Rezervasyon? Yes, yes, yes. İsim uh, neydi? Uh, team, team. Team, team. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Team uh, from uh, hotels. Mert Hotel. Uh, hotel. Mert Hotel, Mert Hotel. Yes, yes, yes. Team. Uh, yeah, this one. Tim, okay. Tim, Hotel yeah. Z. Yes, hotels, yeah. Hotel yes. Z. Hotel Z. Ah, Hotel Z. That's ah. how you say it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. Hotel Z. Yeah. What's what's his name? Name? Name? Efe. Efe. Efe. Efe. And your name? Adam. Adam, uh, this is your number. Yes. Uh, yes. Adam, Adam, Adam. I'm team, team. Team, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you know if uh, breakfast is included or not? No, breakfast? Yeah. It's included or? Yes, it's included? Include. Include. Uh, extra. Ah, extra. Yeah. Uh, how much is How much? Uh, 75 TL. Uh, 75 uh, three TL. for? No, no, no. 75 TL. Ah, TL, uh, Lira, Lira. 75 Lira. Uh, how much? Space? Space, how much is that? <laughs> Uh, five, ten, uh... Ah, okay, yeah, maybe show on the phone. <laughs> it's easier. Mm. Uh, 75, okay. Yeah. So, okay, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Hayır, otur. Efe. Okay, Efe, hayır. Efe, çık şer. Çık şer. Çık. <gülüyor> Şöyle bırakayım kardeşim. Okay, okay, Bu thank da. you, thank you. No problem. Bye bye. Okay, thank you, thank you. Come, gel. Yeah. And the key, okay, the key is there. Okay, thank you. Anahtar burada. Okay, okay, thank you. Alright, thank you. Sorry. Ah, oh, for the air conditioning. Okay. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Man. Good. Holy shit. This hotel room smells really bad. So yeah, that's what you get for 15 euro per night. Let me show you around here but i must say the smell here in this room is really bad <laughs> it's really bad so bathroom shower and toilet in one it's a bit leaking here <laughs> uh, but actually the smell that i smell here is this so it's not really a bad smell it's just the smell of this product and it's a bit yeah a bit weird but you can see yeah it's of course not the nicest hotel ever, but for this price, in this area, high season, I guess I can't expect too much. Uh, but I have air conditioning, looks a bit old, makes some noise, but let's see what I have here. Oh, there is a terrace also. Oh yeah, there's a terrace here. 
with view on uh, lots of littering here <laughs> and the uh, construction site so yeah obviously this is not a, a high-end hotel <laughs> but I'm staying here for three nights and then I will find a better one I guess I don't want to be negative or anything but I think I just hit the jackpot of uh, crappiest hotels ever <laughs> um, it's pretty bad like I was even doubting like should I stay here for three nights or not I mean probably I can manage but it's pretty bad I mean I've been in pretty bad places but I think I hit the jackpot here it's like the worst hotel ever like there's there's a wet spot here I'm not sure why and the toilet seat was completely wet but I think it's because the faucet here is dripping you see it's dripping all the time and it's splashing everywhere it's splashing here you can see there is also wet it's splashing there the toilet seat is broken uh, the shower well I didn't try to shower yet and uh, there are no towels so I need to go and ask for towels because they didn't include any towels I forgot about that or maybe here in this thing here well no not in this wardrobe so yeah and then there's the smell also I mean it's pretty bad so I think the first mission uh, of my stay here will be to find another place <laughs> shit it's pretty bad, but yeah, for this price I can't really complain, right? I mean, it's just an old building, needs some renovation, but... Uh... Good morning! It's another day. Uh, I didn't film much last night because it was getting dark pretty quickly, but uh, the plan for today is to find some food first because actually it's already 12 I slept pretty long uh, but first I will see if this cheap hotel room has some uh, hot water I will fresh myself up and then go and find some food because I'm pretty hungry so uh, yeah off for another day of exploring in Beldibi Kemer okay guys let me dry myself and then Finally some food. Oh, I really need some food. Oh. <sighs> the shower wasn't too bad. It was pretty good. Alright, let's go and uh, hunt for some food. I'm actually in the mood for breakfast. Um, but it's almost one o'clock. <laughs> so I guess it will be kind of a brunch. Let's see what we can find. And basically the only good thing about this uh, hotel is it's in the middle of the center. That's a good thing. Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. This looks actually like a nice place. It's a bit dark here, but the food looks good and it's just next to my hotel. Yes. Can I still order uh, the breakfast? Breakfast, yes. Breakfast and mm -hmm. uh, Turkish coffee? Mm -hmm. Coffee, sugar, no sugar? Uh, sugar, sugar. Sugar. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's all for now. Mm -hmm. Internet, free. Uh, wi Fi? Wi Fi. Okay. Aisha Sahil Cafe. Wi Fi. Ah, okay, okay, okay. All right, thank you very much. It's code. The code, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can use the Wi Fi. Alright, so the Turkish coffee has arrived. What a beautiful cup. Let's see, my first time trying Turkish coffee. Mm, very strong and very sweet. But I asked with sugar, so it's okay. Mm, it's really good. So we have peppers here, tomatoes, cucumbers, I guess some butter, we have some uh, strawberry jam, honey, olives, cheese, another kind of cheese, bread, and also an egg, a boiled egg. So let's dig in. All right. 
right, after this delicious breakfast, it's finally time to go and explore the little resort town, Valdibi. Uh, it's pretty quiet here, I didn't expect it really, I thought it would be super busy. But I guess most people are at the beach right now, or they're on an ex excursion or something. But uh, the nice thing about this place is also that you're like pretty much next to the mountains. Uh, I will try to show you, wait. Uh. So you can see the mountains like this is like the main street here and the mountains are just there so I'm pretty sure that I will go and explore at some point these mountains as well but uh, maybe that's for tomorrow I think today I will do a chill day and maybe in the late afternoon I will go to the mountains because now it's really too hot to go trekking uh, definitely not the right time to go trekking now in the mountains even though it's pretty sure that it's colder there but uh yeah not yet not yet i think today just a little bit exploring here of beldibi and um tomorrow maybe to the mountains so yeah let's explore and most of the hotels here they are um, all inclusive resorts so yeah i guess most people don't even eat, go outside to eat they just stay in the hotel, maybe they don't even leave the hotel. Maybe they just leave uh, the hotel for going to the beach and that's it. Like for example here you see you have a swimming pool. This is a nice hotel actually. It's a bit of a different style, you have all kinds of resorts here. Perfume, souvenirs, goggles for going swimming. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. <laughs> yeah, sorry? I'm just looking around, I'm just looking around. Okay, you can look, you can look. Please. Yeah, I will come back, I'm just walking around. This time look, please. It's good? What, what do you have? Yes, very, very good. This Let camera, this, what is this? It's a GoPro. Ah, okay. <laughs> ah, you have Turkish Delight here. So this guy wanted me to show, to show you this place, apparently. <laughs> Let's see what he has. It's just a supermarket, basically. I have Turkish Delight. And some more Turkish delight. Oh no, this is Turkish cotton candy. Oh, I never saw this. Okay, but most of the other stuff is just uh, supermarket stuff. Not really interested in that right now. But I wanted to yeah, make this man happy and walk into his shop. <laughs> but I'm leaving again. Bomb granite sauce. Hmm. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Bye. So now he's happy. I showed you his shop. So, yeah. And the beach is right there. Maybe you can see it. I'm not sure on this camera if you can pick it up, but all the blue that you see there is beach basically. I mean, sea. I'm going there in a minute. First, I will do some exploring here and then I will go to the beach. Uh, I definitely need some uh, refreshment from the water and I also found that there's like a private beach well uh, not, a, not a private beach a hidden beach or a secret beach I'm not sure if it's really secret but it looked uh, a bit more like a abandoned beach so maybe I will try to make my way there as well because I always prefer to have a beach for myself <laughs> well that will not be the case probably but we can give it a try and pretty much everyone here uh, speaks Russian to me. I think this is like the tourists here are like 70 or 80 percent Russians. Well, maybe not only Russians, but Russian speakers. I don't know uh, if they're really Russians or. But uh, yeah, so everybody speaks Russian to me. Look, you have still the telephone thing here. Let's see if it still works. No, no. It's funny that they leave this here. I saw it in other countries as well. They leave these things here, it's like for nostalgic reasons, or I don't know. <laughs> but it's funny, they don't work anymore, but they're still here. Uh, yeah, I feel like my head is burning a bit, so I will get back to the hotel, pick up my cap. You know, the disadvantages of being bald, your head burns very easily. And the advantages, you look super sexy, I guess, so yeah. Ah, it feel much more uh, comfortable here to vlog. Then in Istanbul, people are more used to it, I guess, and they don't uh, look so strange at me. Hello. 
so yeah, it's more uh, easy to vlog here than in Istanbul for sure. Istanbul, 17 million people here. I, I don't know how many, but it's much more quiet. Look, all right, guys, got my hat on and uh, ready to explore again because uh, for a whitey like me, my skin burns really easily. So it's very important to cover up uh, because it's super hot here. I can tell you that. And uh, maybe a little word about Baldivi. Baldivi is basically a resort town. It used to be a small, small village, but uh, they developed it into a resort town. And it's basically the first town that you uh, see when you drive from Antalya to Kemer. And everywhere you have these huge hotels like this one. And everywhere you can see the flags as well. That's because uh, yesterday, so, so yesterday it was victory day in uh, Turkey. There are also lots of tours that you can do here. You can even go to the Maldives if you want to. I don't think the real Maldives, but here Tassi Canyon, that uh, looks really nice. I might do that uh, by myself actually. I mean, I'm not a really big fan of uh, uh, group excursions. Uh, so I might go just by myself there. Looks really beautiful actually. Uh, we'll see. I still have uh, lots of time. I don't even know when I'm leaving, so yeah. But not in the crappy hotel. <laughs> I won't stay there for more nights than I have to. Look at these mountains. Honestly, I can't wait uh, to get in those mountains, but I don't see any signs about hiking here. I think people are really not into hiking here. Mostly they're just for chilling at the beach. Uh, but I like hiking. Maybe I will do my own research online um, because there's nothing mentioned about hiking here, nowhere. But I could really use like a beach bar right now to drink something really fresh and cold, but I don't see any beaches here. I've been walking like on the main street for about 15 to 20 minutes and the beach is right behind this line of hotels. But I can't see the beach. I would like to have a beach bar maybe. Oh, and here's the mosque actually. I hear that you can visit this mosque as well. Let's maybe have a quick look, but I'm wearing a short, so I don't know if that will be a problem. Yeah, my short is, well, I can extend it a little bit, <laughs> but it's pretty short. But let's just look from here. The mosque is not uh, like an old one or something, but it's still very beautiful. Looks pretty nice. I think this is pretty much the only building that you can visit here. Because here in Beldiva, it's a pretty recent city. Uh, so there's not much to visit here, except this mosque. I read about this. So. Other, all the other things are like beach related or nature related stuff, which I like, so yeah. And you can find a girlfriend here if you want to, maybe you can rent it. And these things you can rent as well. I think it's electric bike. Electric bike is like a tuk-tuk or something. You can sit with two in the back and one in the front. It's very funny. Yeah, these things are very funny. You see them everywhere. It's like uh, you can rent it if you're like with three people and just uh, ride around here. <laughs> A funny thing I thought first there were taxis but you can rent it by yourself I'm not sure if you need a license or anything for that probably not probably not I mean no yeah so I think uh, I reached pretty much the end of the village or the town uh, I will make my way back to the beach to the public beach because these are all beached behind these hotels but I don't have access to them which is a bit sad so I will just make my way back go and get my swimming clothes and a towel and then go to the beach because it's super hot. I really need some refreshment. But first, maybe a uh, orange juice here. Uh, hello, sir. Can I uh, buy orange juice? Orange juice? Yes. Do you know the way to the beach? To the beach? Beach. I cannot go here. No, this is from hotel. Hotel, that Hotel. Beach. I can only go the other beach. Okay. The other beach is okay. Not this one, no. Here, no. Ah. No, it's uh, private. Private beach, right? Private? Private, private here? Yeah, private the beach. 
Right, bitch? Yes. Ah, okay, Thank okay, you. okay. You speak Russian? Or no? I need some uh, refreshment. It's too uh, too hot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, Belgium. Belgium. Belgium. Belgium. Yeah. Are you from Turkey? Turkey. Ah, many Russians here. Eh? A lot okay. of Russian. Antalya. Russian. Antalya. Russian. Okay. Yeah, okay. Ruski. <laughs> I'm not Ruski. <laughs> yeah. Turk. Turk. Okay. You Turkish. Uh, yeah. I see many Russian uh, from Ukraine, maybe. Ah. Yeah, not uh, Bel Belgian, no. Belgium, no. <laughs> Maybe Germans? You see Germans here? Germans? Yes. German? Germans, yes. Alanya, Alanya. Ah, in Alanya. Ah, okay. okay. So Antalya is for the Russians. Okay. Alanya, German. Okay. <laughs> okay, every nationality has their own uh, city here. <laughs> I'm making video, is that okay? <laughs> ah. You also have coconut here. Cocos. Coco, I never tried coconut actually. Never tried me. Ah. It's good, it's good. Yeah? Okay. Yeah? Okay. Maybe I will try one also. I will try also one coconut. Okay. Yeah? I never tried a fresh coconut uh, in milk. <laughs> fresh, okay. Fresh, yeah, yeah. How much is coconut? Four. Forty? Okay. Four, okay. And orange juice? One. Ah, okay, one, yeah. It's a dollar, right? Da. But I have lira, lira. Lira? Yeah. Cocos? Uh, yeah, because I only have lira, I don't have dollars. Okay. <laughs> How much is 70? Okay, okay. okay. okay. And this one? Yeah, yeah, and this also lira, eh? Lira. Okay. Yeah. okay, so 80 for, 80 for two. Okay. For two. Okay, okay. So for coconut and the orange juice, 80 lira. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see how you how you do this. Ah, you make a hole like that. Okay, with a screwdriver. <laughs> ah. I will I will drink already from this, eh? Yeah. Okay. I'll try this fresh uh, orange juice. Ah, delicious. Mm, very good. I need this with uh, the hot water. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, uh, here 100. But it's okay, it's okay for you, for you. I will uh Can I sit down here for a minute? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah here, here. Okay. I will put this one here. No problem. Here? Ah, this has a pro. Oh yeah, this chair is broken. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> Wait, I will get another chair and I have a little table here. Yeah, like this, like this. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, like that, yeah, that's even better. Oh, perfect, perfect. With a little table. Oh. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> that uh, I don't speak English. So. No English? Oh, it's okay. <laughs> You you live in um, Beldibi, you? Beldibi. Beldibi, ah, okay. Kimir? Kimir? Kimir? Okay, yeah, Kimir, yes. Ah, you call it Kimir? Kimir, Kimir. Beldibi, Goynuk. Ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> ah, that's how you pronounce it, Kimir, Kimir. Ah, I didn't know how to say it. I say Kimir, yes. but I don't yes, know. Kimir. Kimir. It's beautiful? Kimir, beautiful? Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm sweating. <laughs> ah. It's warm here for a Belgian like me, you know? We are not used to hot weather, it's too... <laughs> I'm sweating my ass off here. Very friendly people. Let me give uh, the coconut a try. I will try the coconut. It tastes like uh, coconut. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit, uh, a bit salty, a little bit. Vitamin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I will finish this uh, coconut and orange juice, and uh, I'll get back to you. But it's a bit hard to drink. It's a bit uh, difficult. Eh? It's uh, hard. You need to suck really hard.
Maybe you need another hole, no? Yeah, Can you yeah. make another one? Yeah, come. Um, yeah, it's good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, okay. Really good. Huh? Okay. Thank you very much. Right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right. My new friend uh, told me that I should go back because all these beaches are private. They're all ho owned by the hotels. So you need to be staying in the hotel. Otherwise, you can't visit the beach, which is a bit stupid in my opinion because beach to me is a public property. But yeah, it is what it is. So I will go back and find a spot at the beach but first stop by my hotel because I need my swimming clothes right I mean oh and this is the bus that goes to Khmer you see KA07 goes to Khmer and goes also uh, comes from Antalya I think that's the bus that I took here yesterday as well it goes every 10 minutes I guess so you don't need to worry you can there's really a quick connection between Antalya and uh, Khmer So yeah, let's go and pick up the swimming clothes now. Oh, look at these mountains. The guy from the coconut and orange juice, he told me that you can go into the mountains with a 4x4 uh, from Khmer, it's about 4 kilometers. But I'm not really a 4x4 person. I mean, I wouldn't mind, but I prefer walking actually. So maybe tomorrow or in one of my next uh, days here I will hike up the mountains I will see how what the possibilities are you know but uh, it looks pretty nice and I bet you have a nice view over the sea from there which is really cool look at this beautiful hotel look here it's a beautiful design it's the first time that I see this look it's like a vending machine or a machine you can feed our little friends with only one euro you put one euro here and then there's some food coming out for the street dogs and cats which is really cool but I don't have one euro honestly so I don't think it works with lira let's see but I don't even have one lira but it says one euro so you really need to do it with euro I guess so yeah you can feed the street cats and dogs for one euro and before I passed here as well and I saw a cat actually eating from it which is uh, great of course otherwise the food would go to waste damn I'm sweating my ass off here I really need to jump in the sea soon I'm uh, fully dressed for the beach now all black everything even black flip-flops black uh, plastic bag everything I look like a creep a little bit with this plastic bag <laughs> but it's for my towel and my drink uh, but now I need to figure out how to get to the beach because everything is closed here and there were just two guys waiting there like nothing happened because they were going to climb underneath the fence and I'm like you don't need to wait for me you know I saw what you're doing here <laughs> but I will try to find the official entrance I think it's actually right there but I am whole I hope I'm not on a private beach again like yesterday because I don't know how this works really but this seems uh, pretty public. I can enter here probably, and then there the beach. So yeah, uh, let's go for some refreshment. First I will explore the beaches here. I'm not sure if I will swim here yet. Maybe I will make my way to the hidden beach to go swimming. Uh, I'm not sure, we'll, we'll see. Let's see what, what, what happens, you know. I really have no idea how the beaches are in Turkey. Uh, do you need to pay? Can you just chill wherever you want? I literally have no idea. Hmm. Let's uh, see. Oh, and if you think the audio is a bit different, yeah, that might be right because I am not using the media mod uh, for the GoPro. So the audio might be a bit worse than before, especially when there's wind. So I guess plage that must be the beach not sure what the other things mean restaurant yeah okay S sport sahalari I have no idea we'll find out and as you can see it's pebble beach 
so I'm glad that I brought my flip-flops because this hurts as hell on your feet I hope you can understand what I'm saying because it's pretty windy here. Well, it's uh, pretty crowded. Maybe I will just walk around a bit here and then find a hidden beach because that's more my kind of beach. A hidden beach where I'm maybe alone or not all alone, but pretty alone. Let's see. But it's not as crowded as I would expect it to be. There's still some space. Here there are boats that you can rent and everything but honestly I think I'm on a private beach again I will try to get back to the street but I feel like the security will complain again to me because this might be a private one sorry uh, do you speak English yeah uh, is this a private beach or if yes yeah? ah, okay beach. because I'm trying to get back to the street but yeah, yes no problem ah, how I can go there that way yeah. yes uh... Is follow walk. follow the people and yes, uh, uh, three minutes three minutes Four. walking yes all right three minutes three minutes okay yes. thank you very much where are you from Antalya ah you're from Antalya yes. you too damn he's really chilling <laughs> hello okay so I can get to the street anyway it is a private beach but I can get to the streets there are lots of boats here there's like a river that flows into the sea, I guess, here. And you can rent boats here. No idea what the conditions are. Or can you rent it alone? Do you need a captain? I have no idea, honestly. But uh, let's go explore some hidden beaches now. Oh, wait, massage. Well, you see, you see how many Russians are here? This is all written in Russian. You can see here, uh, Vidi Masasha. I guess 60 minutes but there are no prices there's it says ten dollars for a massage I'm wondering because I could really use a massage actually uh, here is already fifteen dollars <laughs> this is just to attract the customers but once you look closer it's fifteen dollars for 30 minutes I don't know what this here means classy uh, I have no idea what it means it's everything is in Russian it's not even in Turkish so it's basically only in Russian and not in Turkish. So I guess the owners are Russian here. Hello, sorry. Hello. Uh, do you offer massage or not? Yes, massage. And uh, for ten dollar, what do you get? Yes, ten dollars. Uh, uh, back what? foot massage. So uh, thirty minutes massage. Back and foot yes. for thirty dollar. Uh, ten dollar. Ten dollar. And how much lira is that? Uh, lira. Yeah. Because I have only uh, lira for me, so. One hundred eighty-three for yes, thirty minutes. Yes. And when do I need reservation, or I can yes, go? Yes, reservation. And when uh, you have availability uh, today or not? Okay, today. Yeah. Please reserve us okay, after ten. Okay. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I could definitely use a massage. Okay. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, Belgium. Belgium. Uh -huh. Ah, you? Uh, mix. Mix from where? <laughs> China. Oh. Partner, yes. Partner. Ah, so Chinese and Turkish. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, which one is it? Thirty minutes, the one that you said. Uh, Thirty minutes, ten dollar. He mm, back and mm, the foot massage. Back and foot. Okay, yes. yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. Can I film? Film. No. Can I make video? Ah, you massage video. Just a little bit. Just a ah, little. Bit. I know. You I do know. the massage. Ah, my massage, my friend massage, men ah, massage. Ah, okay, okay. Three person. Three person. Okay, okay. Uh, and can no no video, no not possible. Uh -huh. Video. Not just, video. Just a little bit, no. After my uh, 
I'm sorry, what? Uh, your video after my boyfriend look after. Ah, he will yes. be mad. <laughs> <laughs> ah, your boyfriend will be jealous. Yes, you don't, yes. But you don't give massage to your boyfriend. Uh, not, uh, oil, uh, not like massage. Ah, your boyfriend, yeah. he doesn't like. Not like uh, I like working here. Oh, my friend not like. Ah, oh, he doesn't yeah. like that you touch other men. Yes, yes. Ah, okay, I got it. I got it. Okay. It's like a your name? Uh, Tim. Tim. T R. What time? Uh, I don't know. When, when do you have available? Uh, time. Uh, six o'clock. It's okay. Six o'clock. Yeah, the five. Yes, yes. Seven. Uh, can we? Yeah, six o'clock is okay. It's okay. Yeah, that. Or. No, no. Uh, five can be also. Mhm. Mm five. Maybe or even not, like right now. I'm. You. Should I? What do I need to do? I shower or something? Or because he I'm sweating. Ah, I can shower here because I'm sweating. Yes. He packet yes. Hama Turkish bath. Ah, okay. And Turkish bath, fifteen dollars. Okay. Uh, what is included then? Yes. He yes. Uh, uh, Peeling after show massage okay. after massage 30 minutes oil a uh, back and the foot massage here. Ah, okay, that's yes, 15 dollars. Uh, yes, he packet he packet a uh, uh, long time he is uh, uh, hamam Turkish bath peeling after show massage uh, four to five minutes full body massage here. Ah, okay, how much is this one? He twenty five dollars. Uh, twenty five. Yes. Maybe I will take this one here. This okay. Yeah, this mm -hmm. one fifteen dollars then. Okay, fifteen dollars yeah. coming here. Okay, okay. Uh, and yes. I can go immediately now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay, great. Stop. Yeah. Okay. No, wait. No, I, I need to un get undressed first. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I I don't have anything planned now. Okay. I will go to the beach after mm -hmm. that. So how long is this one? Uh, one hour. One hour. Seven, okay. Seven minutes. Uh, uh seventy minutes. Yes, seventy yes, minutes. Yeah. Minutes. Okay. Okay. Turkish lira. Turkish lira, yes, yes, yes. Not dollar, euro. I don't euro. know, I don't have, I don't have. I've been traveling already a long time, my, uh, three months already. My euro is gone. Ah, yeah. <laughs> no euros anymore. <laughs> okay. Okay, you cannot get uh, any better price, uh, discount or something? No, no, no. You're very, very, uh, very... Ah, it's already discount. Yeah, yeah, yes, discount. Ah, because it's a package? Yes, ah, package. okay. So, 280, right? Yes, yes. Turkey for um, three weeks now. Ah. I, I was in Istanbul uh, for almost three weeks, and yesterday I came here. Ah yes. But I travel uh, all over the world. Ah. Yeah, I was okay. in uh, I was in Kyrgyzstan before that. Ah, you Kyrgyzstan go. Yeah, ah, I was my there. Friend Kyrgyzstan. Yeah, for where does she live? In here? She live here now or in Kyrgyzstan? Here, my friend. Ah, this one here. The yes. mas massage. Yes. Ah, Kyrgyzstan. People from Kyrgyzstan are everywhere. Yes. <laughs> It's people from Kyrgyzstan and Istanbul uh, also, so everywhere. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, she... Mm, no? uh, we arrange it later. Then. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. after. Okay, okay, okay. You know... Mm, okay, after. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we, we know it, we know it. Mm -hmm. mm. Ah, it's for uh, refreshing. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's not refreshing. Change, please. Change. Okay, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you explain me everything, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. I change here. Yes. And what do I? I go naked completely, or? Uh... <laughs> you completely change after yeah. you. Ah, put this around me. Yes. Ah, okay, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so instead of going to the hidden beach, I will do a massage first, but I'm not allowed to film inside because her boyfriend is not so happy with that, which I can understand. So I will get uh, butt naked, put this around me, and then 
full massage? Not full, I don't know. 45 minutes. All right, guys, I'm ready for my massage. We'll see how it goes. I definitely could use it. It's been like, a, I think, two years that I didn't get a massage, so I'm looking very forward to that. Let's go. Okay, okay thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you, I feel uh, brand new now. Okay. <laughs> like all new. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Maybe I will come back, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye. Yeah, she asked for my YouTube channel, so I wanted to give it. But uh, yeah, I feel brand new. They said I look 22 now. Thank you very much. Thank you. But uh, it was a bit different uh, than what I expected. Well, actually, my lens is a bit dirty. Yeah, so... Uh, the massage first i thought it would be a massage from the lady that was talking to me but uh then all of a sudden a dude uh, shows up and he gave me like a, a body a scrub yeah body scrub i think in a turkish hammam so first body scrub then he did a massage with was lots of foam and then he said okay now to uh, oil massage from the lady i was like okay that's better <laughs> because i always prefer the massage of a lady obviously um, and then she did a massage, full body, for 40 or 50 minutes. And after that, um, like a mineral mask. Honestly, it was the first time that I did this. It was something that she put on my face and it was drying. And uh, then I had to wash it. That's it. Not sure what it does. Probably it's good for the skin or something. I don't know, you tell me, do I look better than before? <laughs> but it was super relaxing, that's for sure. And I paid $15 for uh, 17 minutes so yeah not bad after all and now uh, the plan is to go to the hidden beach if I can find it hello uh, to the hidden beach uh, it's about 20 minutes walking from here but the sun will set soon so um, it's really now that I need to go because it will get dark so yeah let's go Oh, and the lady was uh, from Kyrgyzstan, actually. So funny, funny that I keep meeting people from Kyrgyzstan all over uh, Turkey here, all over the world. Maybe in other countries that I go, I will meet people from Kyrgyzstan as well. Not sure, but it's funny. <laughs> Alright guys, we made it to the hidden beach, I guess. It's not super hidden, it's just all the way in the end of the yeah, the beach here, I guess. So that's why they call it maybe a hidden beach. And it's not really crowded here, which is great as well. I will take a quick, quick dip, because that's why I'm here, right? That's the only reason I'm here. And we're like right next to a beautiful resort. It's always so confusing here. Where are you allowed to go? Where are you not allowed to go? And everywhere security guards so i guess this is okay for me i can be here let's go for a dip finally my first dip in the sea of the turkish riviera let's go oh it's full of pebbles here as well i guess ah, it's not that bad it's not that bad well it is kind of it is kind of yeah we'll just dip in let's go Super salty and super hot, really. Ah. <sighs> super salty water. Oh, I forgot how salty water can be. <laughs> I think the last time that I swam was in Kyrgyzstan, but I'm not sure where anymore. I don't really know. But the water is really nice. It's really nice. And it's so quiet here and the city there I think you can see Antalya there all right let me clean this lens that's Antalya with the mountains in the background and here as well mountains it's very beautiful here this is the nice thing about this region you have like sea and all the way along the coastline you also have mountains so you can basically go hiking go swimming whatever you want everything is here and the water temperature is really nice
All right, guys. Uh, I think this is the end of the video. Uh, I had a great day here in uh, Beldibi, uh, at the in the Turkish Riviera, close to Antalya. It was a great day. Uh, I did a lot of things. I went for a massage. That was definitely the highlight. Uh, I went for a dip in the sea, which was also great. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I have lots more videos coming from Turkey. And after that, I will visit other countries. So make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, share the video. You know what to do, right? Um, so yeah, I will chill a bit here, but it's getting dark. So I don't think I will film more today. But tomorrow I probably will visit a small village somewhere around here, uh, if I can get there. And uh, that will be for another video, but uh, see you in the next one.